And in fact, you guys can come on stage. That'd be good. We have everybody up here and everything. We're going to stay you brothers right in the middle right there. There you go. In Acts chapter 6, early on in the church, the Bible says this, In those days, as the disciples were increasing in number, there arose a complaint by the Hellenistic Jews against the Hebraic Jews, that their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution. The twelve summoned the whole company of the disciples and said, It would not be right for us to give up preaching the word of God to wait on tables. Brothers and sisters, select from among you seven men of good reputation, full of the spirit and wisdom, whom we can appoint to this duty. But we will devote ourselves to prayer and to the ministry of the word. This proposal pleased the whole company. So they chose Stephen, a man full of faith and the Holy Spirit, Philip, Conorus, Nicanor, Timon, Parmaeus, and Nicholas, a convert from Antioch. They had them stand before the apostles who prayed and laid their hands on them. As we participate in this act, we're participating in something that the church has done since the beginning, which is the laying on of hands and setting apart men to serve in the role of deacon. It's a very important role in the church. It's a serving role. It's a role that actually undergirds the church, but also undergirds the, the elders and helps to serve along with the elders to care for the church. Uh, this is not a role that is uh, similar to the elder role, but it's in conjunction. They work hand in hand together. And these brothers have been set apart, are going to be set apart to serve in a significant way in this local body. And so as we pray over them, we're setting them apart. And as a congregation, we're saying these men are going to be used by God to serve this body for God's glory alone. Amen? Amen. Amen. So we want to have these brothers step forward a little bit right here. And we're going to lay our hands on them as these other brothers serve as deacons in the body and our elder team as well, me and Brother Kyle. We're going to just pray over them as God would use them for his glory. If you agree that these brothers are set apart and should be used for God's glory, would you stretch out your hands to them? As a body, we're going to pray together over them. Father, we thank you so much for this opportunity to pray over these men, to set them apart for your use, for your glory. Lord, we know that you're a great God, and we know that you care for the church. And Lord, the one way, Lord, you show us, Lord, that, uh, Lord, a church is blessed is when we have godly leaders and godly servants. And so, Father, as we pray over both Greg and both Jason, God, these are men who are full of the Spirit, men of character, men who love to serve, and men who love Jesus, men who have walked out their life with their families, with integrity, Lord. Lord, men who are not perfect, but men who are striving to be more like Jesus every day. God, I pray over them a blessing. Lord, we pray that as they are stepping into this role, that you would use them for your glory, that you would use them, Lord, as they serve the widows and serve the broken. Lord, as they care for the body of Christ. Would you strengthen them, God, as they lead their homes, God? And I pray that there will be other people who would see their example and want to follow as well. Lord, we thank you for blessing them. We thank you for using them. And as they join this band of brothers to serve in this significant way, we pray they will remember this moment and say that they are but just being the hands and feet of Jesus. That, Lord, there would be men like waiters who would put the apron around their waist to ask, where can I serve? Lord, thank you for using these men. And so in this moment, we set them apart to be used for your glory. And God, we thank you for this. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Let's give God a hand clap of praise for these brothers. Y'all stay right here real quick. such a pleasure walking with these two brothers. We're giving them a, just a certificate now to memorial.
memorialize this day. Um, I remember when this man came into the congregation. Greg has done nothing but serve you well. And it's been a blessing to see that. In whatever way, anything we've asked him to do, this brother has done it. We thank God for the giftings that he has. We just are excited to see how he will will use those gifts in the future to serve the body. So I love you, Greg. Congratulations. Love having you on the team, brother. Jason, my friend. I love this man. Jason has served our children so faithfully. He has been a rock of stability back there for him. He's been an example to the rest of the men of our church to step up and say, what more important thing could we do than to pour into the hearts of the next generation? So we're grateful at how Jason has just jumped into serving the Lord. He has made a personal commitment to say yes to what he's asked to do, and that is to be honored, and we thank him for that. So love you, brother. Look forward to seeing what God's going to do. Jesus' name, bless Amen. you. Amen. Thank you, brother. Amen.